you through. <laughs> For those of you who didn't see, I birthed this baby from my pocket. What? He came out. He's so beautiful. I'm a proud father. Uh, Devin, sit up straighter. There we go. Um, I don't want that branch right behind the horn. There we go. Smiling. Meet Cornelius. <laughs> Cornelius was built by Chris Parker. Who are you? I'm Cornelius the Arena Unicorn. You found me! Another prop that I've worked on is Cornelius the Unicorn, uh, who is Devin's little arena friend. We have this <laughs> target practice deer that some past tenant had left behind, I, I assume. And so we took it and stripped it and uh, re repainted it and got a new horn and just redid the hair. Uh, doing unicorn hair is really terrible. I, don't wish any of you to have to do that. <laughs> it's a lot of hard work. Yep. <laughs> Chris made the unicorn look beautiful. So much so that we were on set and this little child had been watching us film and his mother was like, can, can he please touch the unicorn? Because he really wants to touch the unicorn. So the little kid came up and got to like pet the unicorn, and was really excited about it. And he was like, thank you for letting me touch the unicorn. And Chris Parker made that happen. He made the unicorn cool enough that little kids wanted to, to hang with it. And I think my favorite uh, props that he's worked on is um, in episode five, um, Avery has all her rock fans and he painted the best faces on them. I actually, I had to have one that was like special one, the one that I like am setting down in the scene. And I, I gave him a vision of exactly what I wanted him to paint on this rock and he did it perfectly. So Chris, is, he's the best. No one's ever gonna tell me no. We actually set Megan up in a tree for a little over an hour, um, about 20 feet up for one of the shots in the rain and cold. <laughs> and, uh, towards the end, it started getting to be a slower process. And I, and I was wondering what was taking her so long to reset. And I finally asked her and she said, um, I, I just can't feel my fingers. <laughs> not to imply that we're not having fun. <laughs> uh, we are about to get sprayed in the face with toilet water. <laughs> and luckily, it's not real toilet water, it's just freezing cold water from the shower. Which we could make hot, but Alexander doesn't want to because he hates us. Behind the scenes. I just want to be clear, this is an artistic choice for realism that they have to use cold water. The two second shot in episode five is the very short amount of time that you see Devin and Paige looking into the toilet that's broken and the water shooting out of it from the toilet's point of view. So it's a two second shot, so traditionally in film, for every two seconds, you're going to need about, uh, I don't know, four hours. The setup seemed like it might be overkill at some times. I'll admit it. <laughs> ah! It it burns! Burns! So we suited up our camera guy, head to toe, in plastic. Well, well it's it funny is. for us, because you look hilarious. You look this is really, this is really, this is really, you look really good. <laughs> and we laid him down on the bottom of a bathtub. I, just, I don't even know what to say. I mean, just look look where I am. <laughs> and we had this big sheet of plexiglass that we put over him, and then we overlaid a toilet seat on top of that. In the meantime, I'm holding up the plexiglass so that he can shoot through it so we can attempt to save the camera from getting super soaked during this shot. We're about to tape a plastic bag around this 5D so that it doesn't get wet from toilet water. We can do <laughs> underwater shots look. with that enclosure. Look who he is. <laughs> <laughs> And then we rigged up a hose to the shower head. Yeah, we can get it warm. We can get it warm. It doesn't run warm water. It does. And we had somebody on hose duty spraying water up at Devin and Paige. Face, face, face. More open mouth, more open eye. Uh, yeah, I can't open open eye. <laughs> There's water in well, We got water on the plexiglass, so it already. And it was beautiful. <laughs> it was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what did we get? You guys did a good job. Yeah, no, that was amazing. <laughs> we definitely could have done it off screen or, or talked about it instead, but the effort to do something like that is 
it ups the production value, puts that sort of checkbox in the production value. It really, you know, shows people that we're willing to get messy, to make mistakes. And it gives our, our viewers something, some fun visual gag. And for us on set, it's it's fun. Every once in a while, it's fun to shake it up and do something really strange. You right now. Okay, and one zany. <laughs> <laughs>